Hey shortwave listeners, welcome to Scanning the Bands. I'm going to do a short video today on just a small segment of one of the bands. And this happened only because I was working on a longer video and I happened to come across some of the information about this particular band, which is the 75 meter broadcast band, which I am subtitling Missing One Side of the World. So the backstory on this was that I was scanning through some web SDRs working my other video and I happened to jump down to the 75 meter band. And many of you who live in North and South America also know that the 75 meter band is part of the allocated amateur radio spectrum in the ITU region 2 or the International Telecommunication Union area called region 2. And you can see in this FCC allocation chart that 3.5 to 4 megahertz is allocated all for amateur use. Whereas the color coded dark blue areas are known as broadcast areas and there is no broadcast allocation in the 75 meter band. But if you go to the ITU documentation, you'll find that both regions one and region threes are allocated to use 3.9 to 4 megahertz or 3900 to 4000 kilohertz. And if you look at the specific chart, you see I've outlined that 3950 to 4000 kilohertz has been allocated for region one and 39 up to 4000 has been allocated to region three for broadcasting. So what does this imply for shortwave listeners? Well, in Region 2 in North and South America, it's going to be a struggle to listen to the 75-meter broadcast band because you're going to have amateur radio enthusiasts transmitting right on top of those frequencies. But for those of you listening in Europe, Asia, or Australia, the 75-meter band is going to be pretty accessible. So what can we listen to on this band? A number of these stations are in Asia, China, and others are in Europe. So if we look across here, you'll see... Uh, the light blue stations that are identified here as broadcasting stations, Voice of the People, KCBS, we have Channel 292, we have uh, People's Broadcasting Service in China, Radio France, Shortwave Radio of Goal, which is in Europe, uh, Echo of Hope, I believe, is a Chinese station, HCJB, one of the oldest shortwave stations that many of us who listened to shortwave many years ago know, uh, Voice of the Andes. And then there's some unusual ones here on the side, that are outside 70, just outside 75 meters, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So I said this was gonna be a short video, so let's just start and go right up the spectrum. Starting at 3,900 kilohertz, we have a Chinese station, a local Chinese station in the Hulun Bayar region, which is in the Inner Mongolia part of China. So you can see I'm zooming in on where this is in China to give you at least a geographic sense of the area of listening. I'm gonna show you two clips here, one from South Korea and the other one, interestingly, from Sweden. So obviously you can listen to this particular station across Europe and in Asia. Let's take a listen. So that could be a great challenge for anyone across the world. I'd be really interested if anyone in North or South America have heard this station. The next station broadcasting on 3955 kilohertz is really quite interesting. It's radio channel 292 broadcasting out of Germany. And actually you can hear this station around the world. Um, good signal across Europe, very strong there. Plays a lot of entertainment, uh, a lot of music. Interesting background, if you uh, do some research on this channel, it has a fascinating background of some former amateur radio enthusiasts who started this station, picked up an old tower in Germany. So a really fun station to try to catch anywhere in the world. Let's take a listen. Now, oddly, also broadcasting on 3955 kilohertz is KBS, the Korean Broadcasting Service World Radio, which only broadcasts one hour a day in German from 20 to 2100 UTC. Let's take a listen. Lauter Arbeit in der Abendverabredung mit ihrem Verlobten vergessen. 
um ihren wütenden Verlobten zu besänftigen, ruft sie ihn an und entschuldigt sich. Next up, another fascinating shortwave station broadcasting on 3975 kilohertz is Shortwave Gold. I believe this is broadcasting out of Germany. It's another interesting station. It's an entertainment station. Um, I'm sure you can hear this around the world. Let's take a listen. Shortwave. Three security form players, as well as with New Orleans pioneer drummer Zutty Singleton and Chicago jazz leader and guitarist Eddie Condon, not to mention bassist Art Shapiro. T Garden's brother Charlie played trumpet and does a fine job throughout, but the real gems flow from clarinetist Pee Wee Russell and tenor saxophonist. Bun and last for our samples, we have, of course, China National Radio, which dominates the shortwave spectrum across all the bands. CNR has a station on 3985 kilohertz uh, broadcasting at various times. I'm sure you can hear it in Australia and in Asia. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Well, we can't walk away from 75 meters without talking about pirate radio, and there is apparently at least one pirate radio station that I was able to catch on 3940 kilohertz. I don't know what the station is. Uh, you can take a listen to it. Maybe someone knows. В Европе не более четырех процентов крупнейших и крупных компаний контролируются владельцами из офшорных юрисдикций. В США два процента. Well, it definitely sounds Slavic, so I'm wondering if this might be coming out of the Ukraine. Well, that's it for the clips. There were some that I could catch, like Radio Nikai on 39.25 kilohertz. I just missed it. And then there were others I just could not find. For example, HCJB. I tried to find that station. I'm not sure it's on the air anymore. I would love to hear from the listeners out there. Has anybody heard HCJB recently? I know they have a transmitter in Europe and they have one in South America, but again, the voice of Ecuador, is it still out there? And then what I mentioned earlier were these other stations just above the 75 meter broadcast band. Here you can see at 4.005 megahertz, 4.010 megahertz, this radio... Casa AM, no idea. These other radio stations that we have listed here, Cabo de Gato Radio, I tried to find these. I had no luck. So I would love to hear again from the listeners if you've heard about any of these stations and what they are. Are these pirate stations? I have no idea. Well, that just about wraps us up. For those of you listening in North or South America, you can hear some of these stations. Now, the challenge is going to be the time of day because the best times are going to be in the evening or in the early morning, and you're going to need a fairly decent antenna to hear these, also fighting the amateur band and any kind of amateur activity on there. But it is possible. I did listen to some web SDRs in the United States, and I did hear, for example, Radio 292. So it might be a good challenge for you to get out there either with a, a large dipole or maybe a, a long wire antenna or possibly a beverage antenna. All right, that wraps it up for this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to give you a taste for the 75 meter broadcast band. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel. I am working on some more videos. I'm working on one that's particularly difficult, so it's taking a lot of time, but I really appreciate all the watchers out there. So keep listening to Shortwave and take care. <laughs>